Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's make something so pretty. Stay tuned. So for those of you who are just watching this video, and you haven't committed to subscribing, y'all know what? I would love to have you as a part of my online family. If you are looking for a way to increase your knowledge of paper crafting, learn the basics and the fundamentals, this is the channel for you. So go ahead and subscribe. Like I said, I'd love to have you. Let's get started on today's awesomely pretty craft. And here it is. I made this style several months ago and it's a roll top bag and it is absolutely gorgeous. I thought I would bring it back because it makes the perfect bag for a Mother's Day gift or some Mother's Day treats or a birthday bag or a thank you bag because as you can see I've got thank you very much on here. This is actually an anytime bag because you know what if you change these papers to a more masculine paper you can fill it with all types of goodies for him this doesn't necessarily have to be a feminine bag, but that's what I'm making it today. So let's get started on making it, and you're going to see just how awesomely easy it is to make this bag. So guys, I'm going to apologize up front because you're probably going to hear my neighbor who has decided right now to cut down some trees in his backyard. And unfortunately, he is my next door neighbor, so you might hear that buzzing going on in the background. So the paper that we are going to work with today is from Graphic 45's Flutter Collection. And this is called Glorious. And I'm just going to hold it up in case you want to do an online search of this. This paper is just so pretty. And it's a double-sided paper. And on the back it says Bloom and Grow. And on the front you've got all of these gorgeous floral scenes along with these look like dragonflies, I can't really tell, but this is a gorgeous paper to work with and you'll need two sheets of 12 by 12 paper. Then I have a piece of four by six acetate. Then I have my template chipboard that is four by five. And then of course you'll need some glue and scissors. So let's get started. So we're going to score both pieces of this 12 by 12 paper exactly the same. So we're going to need to score at two and a half on three sides. All right, so then we'll turn it to the side where we did not make a score and we're going to score at half an inch one and an eighth of an inch and at one and seven eighths of an inch. And let's do that on both pieces of our paper. Okay, then we can fold and burnish all of our scores. Okay, so once we've gotten all of our scores folded and burnished, we're going to need to make a series of cuts. So let's start with this. Where you've got the three scores, the three narrow scores, that's the top of your bag. Let's not do anything there yet. We're going to come down to the bottom and we will have two squares on one piece only that we need to remove completely. So I am going to go in, drag down, and remove these corner pieces all together. And I'll do the same thing over here. I'll remove these corner pieces all together. And then I'm just going to angle in just a little bit on this, not a lot. It'll just make putting this bag together just a little easier. So this is what we have right here. Now we're going to turn this and we are going to make some cuts here at the top where we have those three narrow score marks. So here is what we're going to do. 
and I'm actually going to draw this for you. So we're going to come down to that third score mark. So we've got the score one, score two, and on score three, we're only going to come in a portion and we're going to remove this much of it because I want just a little bit remaining. So that will be part of my glue flap. So I am simply going to go over, cut across on the score mark, and then remove this piece. So I didn't take out the whole piece. And when I fold it, you can see what I did. I just took out a portion. So I'll do the same thing on this side. So all I'm going to do is go down to that third score mark and trim that out. And so what I'm left with is something that looks like this if you folded those flaps in. So this is one portion of our bag. Okay, so then we're going to have our second piece. And again, we'll have those three small narrows at the top. Leave those alone. We don't need to do any cutting to those at all. We're going to come down to the bottom where originally we, we removed this entire square pieces on the end. We're not going to do that this time. All we want to do is with this facing you, we're simply going to cut out and I need to bring this to my face. So with your paper facing you, you've got the three scores at the top. It's facing you like this. We're going to make our cuts in this direction and we'll only make two cuts, one over here, one over here. Okay, so I've made that cut. And now I'm just going to angle in on this tab, just like that. And then I'm simply going to reduce the size of that tab. And I'll do the same thing over here. So I will come over to this side and I'm simply going to cut out in this direction. And now I'll angle in and I'll angle in here, and then I'll reduce this. And those are all of the cuts for the tabs. Now that we have it like this, this piece here where you made the cuts only at the bottom, this is the front of your bag. So what we need to do now, if you want an acetate window in your bag, we need to go ahead and place down our four by five piece of chipboard and I use chipboard as my templates. I have a Cricut and I can cut these out on my Cricut Maker, but um, I know that not everyone has that. So we are going to use uh, a nice little cheater method to be able to get that same pretty look. So using a piece of four by five chipboard, I am simply going to take this and center it in the body of my bag. And I need to hold this up so that I can see where my side and my center points are. And I'll try to be even, but I'm not going to stress out if it's not. And then once I have it in position, I'm going to flip this over and just smooth that down to get it nice and stuck. And now I'll use my finger blade just to trim out my template. And this is just an easy way to get a window. You can cut your chipboard down to a variety of sizes to get any size window that you want. So when I remove it, I'm left with this. So now I can bring in my piece of four by six acetate and my reptile glue and I am just going to place my glue along the edges of my acetate. And then once I have my glue on here, I'll take this and just stick it down. And then I'll use my paper towel initially, and I just like to take my glue and push it out towards the edge, away from the actual opening of the window.
And now I can use my bone folder just to come back and smoosh down that glue, making sure that everything stays nice and stuck. And now you can see that I have a really pretty acetate window on this pretty bag. So to put our bag together, we need to take this part that has these two tabs, and then we need to take this piece where we actually remove the bottom tabs. And we're simply going to place it down just like that. So to do this, I am going to place glue on this piece And you can use tape. I like to use glue at this point because it gives me some working room. So I am going to turn this around just a little bit. And when I put it down, I am going to put it down so that the end to end touches my score mark and then my sides are nice and even just like this. So when I put my bag together, these tabs will be used to put it together. Okay, so now I can smooth it down and we can put this together. So the way that we're going to put it together is the front will be the last part that we glue down. So we're going to take it, bring up the back pieces and the side piece and glue them down. So I am going to take my glue, place it all over this, And I'm going to turn it this way because it's just easier for me. And I'll take the bottom piece here and get it stuck down. And I want to make sure that it's nice and flush. I'll lay it on the side, go on the inside with my bone folder, and get that stuck down. Then I'm just going to fold this back so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Now I'll take this piece and I am going to use my glue to get this stuck. So I'll do the same thing. I am simply going to match it up at the end. Now I can take it, roll it over onto its side, go on the inside and get it stuck down. So now we can go ahead and bring our sides up and put them together. And the reason why I notched out here to make my glue flap um, smaller here than it is here, because this is the side of the bag that we're actually going to roll down. And I didn't want to have double thickness because that would make it very difficult to get your bag to roll properly. So now all I need to do is take my glue. I am going to place glue all over this piece. Get it nice and covered. Then I will bring this over. And what I want to do is match up the tops. So then once my top is matching, I'm just gonna run my finger down the side to get it laid down. And then I can go on the inside with my bone folder and get this stuck down. And that's one side of our bag done. We're going to flip it over, get our glue, and now we're going to do this side. And I'm probably going to need to refill my glue bottle. I hope I can make it without having to do that. I am going to take this side and do the same thing. So I'm going to match it at the top, make sure I get it smooth going down the side. Then I'll use my bone folder go on the inside, get that glue nice and stuck. Okay, so our bag is put together and I think it's beautiful just as it is. So we're going to stand it up, pinch in our sides, and because we created the score marks, we can now fold over and create that roll top look. And you can see just how gorgeous this bag is. And you've got plenty of room on the inside to be able to fill it with goodies. But before we do anything else, we're going to decorate this. So what I want to do is I want to create just a little bit of a nature scene on here. And I have some cutout pieces 
that I have in my stash and I am just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of this. If you have a sticker maker, this is the ideal time to pull it out. And then you don't have to worry about trying to get glue on all of those little pieces. So I'm going to take that piece and then I'll just pat it down because I don't want that glue oozing out. And then I have this gorgeous little bird and I am going to put him right there. Because So I'm putting some back glue on the back of this bird and I am going to take the bird and just position him right there. And then I'll use my paper towel just to pat that glue down. And then I have this birthday wishes and this little pink um, clothespin, one of the minis. And I'm simply going to use that as a way of closing this top. Now you can use Velcro, magnets, whatever it is you want to close your top. I just thought that was a really fun and cute little way of closing these oh so simple roll top bags. And I'm showing you guys the back so that you can see how that roll top look actually works. And can you imagine this filled with all types of goodies? This is just such a gorgeous way of presenting a gift. And like I said, it's a fairly large bag. It is seven inches across, eight inches high, and two and a half inches deep. So I am going to bring the other one back in so you guys can see both of these and see just how gorgeous they really are. And don't you think that these bags would make a great way of presenting whatever gift it is that you're giving to friends, family, coworkers, whomever. So guys, I hope you have liked this super easy little project idea. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. Y'all, please stay safe, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.